All right, in the kitchen today with Chef Bob Hirasawa from Farm Fresh. It's a tale of three dishes with one common theme. Puff pastry. Puff pastry. Okay. The, the trifecta of puff pastry. Yep. The trifecta. <laughs> you like that one? I like that. <laughs> okay. All right, so what are we making first? Well, we're going to do um, a dish, and basically, uh, got to say this is shout out to Robbie. Uh -huh. This is her uh, dish that she submitted one time. Robbie, Robbie and VB. Right. She loves you too. She probably is like beside herself that you, <laughs> Chef Bob, are making one of her recipes. Well, we're, and I did do a little, and I told her I'm going to make a little bit of a change on it. Rather than use a pie crust, we're going to use a puff pastry crust. Okay. Um, basically, we're just trying to use that as a common denominator in a couple of dishes here yeah. today. Um, we're going to start with her uh, crab, crab, um, the Popeye mm -hmm. crab mix, and we got the what we call. Uh, mirepoix is basically onions, carrots, and celery. Uh, a little bit of butter going off right here. And then we're going to go ahead and deglaze like we've talked about before. And yes. The, and, you, and your favorite. We have a little bit of sherry right here. We're just my favorite. Do you think sherry is my favorite or deglazing is my favorite? Well, both. Sherry in, a, in the afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And, then, and we're just going to, basically we're trying to lift those flavors up. I had to get right. this going a little bit. It takes a little bit of time on this recipe, and you'll see when it's when it's posted. Yeah. And he's going to put that on a little later for us. Okay. okay. Now, I should <laughs> mention, too, before we even got started, you you threw in our first appetizer, the breadsticks, right. but using the puff pastry as well. I did. So uh, well, when those mm -hmm. come out, we'll talk a little bit Yeah, we'll talk about how we, how we did that, which okay. is super easy, and that's what ho hopefully all these dishes are. Really well, I mean, that's good news for lots of folks who hear puff pastry and think, well, that's, you know, yeah. but, you know they're afraid of it. It is, and it's something that can really like, kind of... Ah! <laughs> afraid, but they just, you know... Then it can really uh, kind of jazz up and, you know, class yeah. up some things. Um, we add a little bit of flour to this. Okay. A little like yeah, a go, bit? Yeah, like all of okay. it. You've already, yeah, already measured it out. All right. It. Okay, and then we're going to do... What we're going to do is next is um, the... Yeah, you can do the spices, that's fine. Okay. It's all going to the same place. Yep, obey. Pa paprika? Uh, that's a little bit of cayenne. Oh, okay. cayenne. And we got a little bit of uh, salt there. Because mm -hmm. it always needs to get a little bit of help out. Lemon zest. Mm -hmm. All of it? Yep. Okay. And then we got some uh, clam broth. Okay. And you can use seafood broth, whatever, whatever's handy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in my town, they don't season our water, so you want to have something here with some seasoning in there. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you want Funny guy. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> And okay. then you've got peas and potatoes. Are and those and we're going yeah. to wait. That's the next step. We're going to go ahead and drop the potatoes in. And okay. go ahead and drop them in with the water. You are? Okay. Yeah. All go right. ahead and dump the whole thing in there. All right. We've got 30 seconds. Okay. Let's make them count. Okay. And we will. And then okay. We'll and then we're going to go on. That's going to be the next step. So we'll add that in later. But we've already had some already made up. We, had, we knew okay. this takes a little time. And I've, I've dished these out into some oven, oven bowl, um, uh, bowls here. Yeah. And then what I also did is I saved a little bit of crab and throw that in each one to so make sure everybody gets their fair yeah. share. I like okay. that. I like the individual, but you probably could also do it just a big one in a baking Ab dish, absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And I'll show that a little later because we do have. Okay. And what I was just doing is going to take this and cut this into into six. Breaking out the, uh, the cleaver. The cleaver. Well, it's the first thing I grabbed there. Mm. And this is super easy. Did you get the store-bought um, uh, puff pastry, and they come in like basically two two rolls per. And, and sometimes recipes call for you to, to roll it out. I like to get the puff up and, and be okay. a little bit careful. All right. And we've, got a, we've got to hold here just for a second. Okay. We come back. I know Chef Bob is going to let me help stuff those little pouches for dessert, <laughs> and everybody's looking forward to that. We're back in the Hampton Roadshow Kitchen with Chef Bob here, Sour from Farm Fresh, making Robbie and Virginia Beaches crab pot pie for the purposes of demonstrating how easy it is to work with puff pastry. Don't be right. afraid. Don't, right? be, don't our, be afraid. Absolutely. That's our takeaway today. Yeah. Don't be and scared of the puff pastry. And you mentioned something about the uh, cheese sticks that we did. And yes, those, I did. They're there. Out. Antonio, if you wouldn't mind, here's a shot of the cheese sticks fresh out okay. of the uh, oven there. And, uh, and just for time's sake, what, what I did was I took like a, a sheet of puff pastry here, cut it in half, mm -hmm. sprinkled some uh, shredded cheese in there, whatever you like, put the top on, cut it in half, uh, sprinkle some more on top, cut them up, and just put them in the oven. Oh, so there's cheese on top and cheese in the middle. Right. That's awesome. You know what else you did? Because you're such a man, you left the <laughs> cupboard door open. Oh, okay. I just don't want you to bang your head then on we, it. Then we get that for a moment. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do here, we're moving on to like a, uh, a dessert. Yes. Um, or maybe I should... Run back to what we did. We, you saw the, the dishes. I just put a little bit of egg wash on there and put the uh, puff pastry tops on them. Um, cut a little slip to, so it can vent and doesn't blow up yeah, on you. Put and the then, crab. Yeah, and, put and the they're crab in the oven. And they're in the oven. Let's turn on the light. It's always fun. Okay. There they are. There they're going. Great. So they're, they're, and they just take about 30 minutes. Okay. okay so so while you're waiting on those, you can start putting dessert We're together. doing the dessert together. Mm -hmm. And we just got some apples here. Got a little bit of butter in there. Sauteing them up. These are Granny Smith apples. Add a little brown sugar. Mm hmm. 
Virginia oh. is asking me to open the oven so we can see the pot pies. Okay. So watch out. Watch your back. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, there we go. Kitchen cams. Got it. Looking Did they get oh, Okay. Here we go. That's good. And we're going to, I had to kind of get this started just a bit before we got, came back on the, sh on the shot here. Uh -huh. And I had a little, so brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit, of, I just did a little sherry, that's up to you if you want to. Okay, and just kind of gets candy this out a little bit. We're going to, that's going to be good right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut this into quarters. Now you, now you said the puff pastry comes already in sheets. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, I mean... If you rip it or something like that, you just press it back together. Just press it back together. So just, it's yeah. forgiving. It is, very much. And I'm going to let you help me with these. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of caramel in the middle. Okay. Caramel sauce. Make, you don't have to make it. We didn't do that today. Right. You but want, you can. You, you can, absolutely. Want to put a little bit of uh, apples on there? Yes. Let me, uh... uh there should be a spoon right inside there. Okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. And it goes right, just right on top? Mm -hmm. Now, should I, should I try to take some of the liquid with it or yeah, no? Sure. Why not? Why not? All right. Why well, not? I don't know. Maybe there is a reason why not. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But I that, don't that's know. That's enough right there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. And we're going to put a couple blackberries in there. Mm-hmm. And then we're just going to pull these together. You may put another little scoop without the juice. Another scoop? Without yeah. The, okay. Just grab some from the top. There you go. Yeah. And I'm just going to pull these across and bring them to the center. Okay. Isn't that cute? And then we're just, what we're going to do is we're going to brush it with a little bit of this, uh, uh, egg wash, make sure, which is basically like one egg and a little bit of water. Yeah. Up toast with the water. Okay, and we'll put it on a... You know, you know what I'm thinking about? What's that? I'm thinking about brie cheese. Oh, that would have been good too. I mean, you could do a lot of things with the puff pastry. It, it, it's, but this it's, is a dessert. This is a dessert, and, you know... The, boy, it would be good with some brie cheese. The brie cheese can, can um, actually... Why not? Why, why can't not? it be dessert? dessert? We're going to brush this a little bit to help the browning mm -hmm. put it all together. Just bring a little bit of coarse sugar on here. Okay, and those will go in the oven too. And they're gonna go in the oven, and then we uh, we'll bring that. That takes about twenty minutes, also. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. We'll put it all together when we come back. Uh, right now, Cheryl's got more. All right, I think the elves have been over here. There's no way you alone got all this done. Hey, stop. You know, the, the uh, part that takes the longest is the cooking. The get, uh -huh. getting, that, getting that off, and that's we kind of had to skip a little. You know, a few of the little steps. So, um, but I'm sure it's all going to be on the on the yeah, website that's later the, on. Yeah, you know, us. that's the wonderful but, thing about the website yeah. is the things that we mm -hmm. can't pack into an hour will always be there. So right. we will put all of the instructions, the ingredients, the how-to, mm -hmm. the technique, if you will, at HamptonRoadShow.com. Yeah, and just want to show you that we had the, the, the seafood, uh, the, the crab pot pie, Robbie's uh, crab pot pie Robbie's here, crab pot pie. and then we put we put the puff pastry on top instead mm -hmm. of a. Um, yeah, just have students instead of a pie crust. Yep. And then just, uh, he had to cut the, the little vents in here so it comes you know, up. That looks so pretty when yeah. it's finished, like it a is. little flower. And then, we, like oh, and then we have the, uh, the the full casserole like you were talking about before. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure our... Uh, oh, that's the crab uh, casserole too? That's crab okay. casserole and I just did a full sheet on there for that one. Perfect. Okay. Um, we're going to put together, no, let's see, let's do this first. Let's go ahead and pull the desserts out, see how they're coming along. Yes. I mean, talk about showing off. I mean, oh. that is really amazing looking. Oh. Your guests will be... Very impressed if you and can it, pull that and it's off. Really, it's so simple, you know. It wasn't um, even hard. And and yeah, you could, like I said, if you want to, to um, there's a lot of different you know fruit fillings you could do out yeah. there. I would stay away from the can, but that's personally. But you know, there's lots of frozen um, yeah. uh, fruits out there. And just put that inside, pull it together. Um, and when it bakes off, it just looks so elegant. It and does. Like so we can just does. put that on. I'll let you go ahead and deal with it. Put those oh, on the plates okay. there and just garnish with a little bit of mint. Okay, I will do that. And then what I'm doing here is just. The salad we talked about before, I got a little bit of uh, walnut vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. um, put a little bit of walnuts here. <laughs> See, I test. I knew that was going to be hot this time. Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing. <laughs> Set you up again, huh? Yep. From last week. <laughs> See how you are? No, we're fine today. And the okay. mint smells good, too. Now, where are you getting fresh mint these days? Oh, uh, Farm Fresh. Absolutely. I we know have that. Yeah. that. But is it, is, it still, is it still growing locally? Or you um, well, we have, we have um, some um, herb uh, companies that, you know, they, they actually, if they don't have it, you know, outside, they do do the greenhouse, you know, oh. Paxton. You don't have to tell me all your secrets. Okay. But we're going to take the, uh, the cheese, mm -hmm. um, cheese Ooh, sticks. Little goat that. cheese and walnuts. Mm -hmm. nice. Goat cheese and walnuts. Okay. And then just kind of add this little 
cheese stick there instead mm -hmm. of uh, crouton. But I know that Cheryl really likes those uh, the breads and things that we. Oh yeah, yeah. A, we're all fans of, of uh, bread and cheese around here. Um, <laughs> we are getting. Uh, we have to go, but very fast. Any veterans in your family that you want to say hi to? Anybody on your mind today? Well, I, yeah, I do have some veterans, uh, especially on my wife's side. Uh, you know, uh, Jim. Thank you very much. And uh, oh, I'm sorry. Her dad. Her dad. <laughs> no, that's why Don't forget her dad. Yeah, she's a, she's an army she's an army brat, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the family went all over the place, but okay. uh, we, so we wish them and everybody yeah. a happy, happy Veterans Day. Day. Cheryl.